some of the crypto marketplaces like Coinbase, like Binance, are not cutting off uh, the Russian population from their coin. Uh, this, to me, is going to be the downfall of Coinbase as well as the downfall of Binance because uh, we are in a war uh, and access to this funding, uh, this, this money, basically, for trading, uh, is not what we want to allow have happen. I mean, I think, personally, Biden is just as bad by not cutting off the royal. We just keep on buying oil and giving them money. So are we really fighting a war or are we just being selfish uh, in terms of, uh, you know, making money in, in uh, crypto through Coinbase as well as uh, allowing the oil flow? Uh, I think it's going to be the downfall of Coinbase. Uh, and I think that the fact of the matter is uh, when you're in a wartime situation, you have to uh, not wait for the government to tell you what to do. You have to do the right thing. Now, uh, China is claiming that they're going to do a, a big crackdown uh, on crypto, but it's yet to be seen. Uh, basically, uh, China reiterated it would continue to crack down on its crypto speculation in a coal conference, according to a statement from the country's central bank on Friday. The annual meeting, which is convened by the People's Bank of China, maps out regulatory priorities for the country's financial market in the coming years. Basically, China is saying that they're not going to be uh, allowing too much crypto, but uh, I think that, you know, that really can't be proven, uh, especially when Coinbase and Binance are saying that uh, they're allowing people from Russia to, to continue to trade. Now, let's go over some prices. Uh, Bitcoin just took a little dump. Uh, it was 40800 It is now 40321 this I'd like to point out specifically because if so many people from Russia are supposedly putting money into uh, Bitcoin and trading with it, still, you know, we're talking about a whole country that's currency has dropped tremendously. Why is Bitcoin only $40,000? Ask yourself that question. Maybe Bitcoin is not, you know, the thing. Uh, Ethereum is twenty six forty. Again, it hasn't moved up that much, but let's take a look at the top movers and see what really is uh, moving. Now you have uh, uh, Aventus, which is up 21%, but you have Portacol, uh, which is up 44%. Uh, let's take a look at it. It's called UPI. Again, I don't know who... Uh, developed this, but 85% is on the buy. Uh, it's a $15 million volume. Uh, the circulating supply is uh, $257 million. Uh, they have uh, uh, UPAI is an Ethereum token that powers Portacol, a platform collecting and monetizing data about pets. Users can gain health insights on their pets using an IoT-enabled sensor and can earn UPI by anonymously sharing that data with the protocol network. So this, in, in, in turn, seems to be a research tool uh, that's being uh, utilized probably by biotech companies. Uh, and you buy the token and uh, somehow the value of it is going to go up because they're collecting data. Now, here, here's the hole in this. Here, here's the empty gap in this. They don't tell you if the biotech companies are going to be paying for this data. I'm assuming that this coin collects the data, packages the data, and then tries to sell it. But whose hands is it going into? Are you actually, when you buy this coin, funding projects for our enemies? I mean, do you remember uh, years ago reading that a lot of the people did a lot of tests on animals. Uh, you know, to me, I don't know. I mean, these coins are crazy in some cases. Here's a coin where, you know, there's a sensor in a dog or a cat or a horse or a pig, and that data is collected and then resold. How does the coin fit in? Okay, let me read that again, all right? I mean, it's up 47% right now. 
It was 44% when we started. Uh, UPI is an Ethereum token that powers Portacall, uh, a platform for collecting and monetizing data about pets. Users can gain health insights on their pets, an IoT-enabled sensor, and can earn UPI by anonymously sharing that data with the Portacall network. Let's look into the official website. Connect, invest, engage. Here's some cute little dogs. Uh, don't, I don't see any cats there. Uh, the Portacol pet tag. NFT marketplace. You buy this this stuff. Uh, I think that I hold off on buying this, this coin because, number one, everybody loves their pets. I walk up to people all the time, seriously, and I say, how much for your dog? They say, what? My dog is priceless. My point is this. Here's a coin that could be playing on people's emotions. Everybody has a pet and is going to buy this coin. The price is going to drive itself up. And these two geeky dudes that made this port call are going to dump into this market, become billionaires, and probably not even have a dog. That's all I can tell you. Let's go back to our marketplace. Let's see how I'm doing today. I'm sure I'm doing crappy. Here's my assets. I've got $8,000 in uh, crypto, and I'm down about $1,100. Why? Because Jasmine is down 6%, and uh, Galacoin is down. Now, also on the stock market, a lot of the game stocks are down. I guess they think that gaming is going away, or this... A situation where you buy the dip. We'll have to find out. Let's take a look at some of the other coins. Real quick. Some popular ones. Uh, Cardano. 86. Down a penny from this morning. Uh, Solano. $89.56. Avalanche. One of the people's favorites. Avalanche. Uh, 78.60. There's Dogecoin. I think Mark Cuban said he's going to sell popcorn for Dogecoin uh, down to 12 cents. When it really started getting hot, it was around 6 cents. So it's double where that was. I think Mark Cuban probably mentioned that he was going to start accepting it. And uh, Elon Musk said they were going to accept it uh, to buy cars uh, when it was around 6 cents. They probably owned it. Again, a celebrity gets on top of one of these things. The thing shoots up and they sell. Uh, Shiba Inu, uh, down 3.5%, almost 4%. Uh, crypto coin, crypto.com, com, 41 cents, down 5%. DAI, let's see what DAI does. Again, remember, these coins are created by a couple of dudes that are going to become billionaires Without even going through the trouble that uh, Jeff Bezos uh, did or uh, Pierre Midiar, these guys are just creating computer programs and these tradable coins and these digital images called NFTs, which really, to me, have no value whatsoever. Uh, and they're going to become billionaires. And all of you people are going to think that they're the greatest thing since sliced bread because they got bucks. Okay. Now... DAI is a decentralized stable coin. Stable coin means that you can put your money in and it doesn't go up and down. On Ethereum, that maintains a value of $1. Unlike centralized stable coins, DAI, they, isn't backed by the U.S. dollars in a bank account. Instead, it's backed by collateral on the maker platform. Note, if the DAI credit system is upgraded or shut down, DIA holders may need to convert their DAI to Ethereum through the Maker platform. Read more at MakerDAO platform. Pretty complicated. Boy, these kids know how to con you. Uh, I'm still waiting for the Madoff coin. That's all I have for you today on the Crypto Report. Thanks. My name is Mark Nejma. Uh, just want to point out to you, we are coming with Comedy is News. Uh, you may be able to read us just at comedyisnews.com. It'll show up at newsweed.com. But we've got thousands of comedians that will be talking about the news so you don't have to get bored by me. 
Thanks so much.